worshiping God this morning. Um, I believe it's a, a healing rain. Uh, early morning Sunday, since yesterday, sobrang ulan, and some of us uh, praying also for the evacuees. Dun sa grandson na hindi boba yung grandson. And many of us also think na God is just showing His blessing also as a healing rain. Reminds us of His faithfulness as well. Now, we'll be worshiping God today, and I want us to be praying for God's presence to be with us this morning. Uh, if we can just grab uh, a partner for a while, we get to ask God's presence to be with us this morning. Come on, for a minute, just, just ask and pray for God's presence to be with us, that God will minister to us today. Quick prayer, come on. Lord, we thank you this morning, Lord. We thank you for you are good and your love endures forever. That you are forever constant. You never change. You're the same God yesterday. You're the same God today. And you're the same God forever and for the rest of our lives. Lord, today, God, we want to praise and worship you. Today, God, we want to just honor you today. Lord, today, God, we just want to even offer, Lord God, our heart to you. We lay aside everything, every worry, every concern today. But Lord, we want to focus on you because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Lord, receive the praises, receive the worship of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, let's clap our hands. Come on, let's worship and praise God. Come on, this morning.
deserves our praises. Come on. Lord, we thank you, God, for your goodness and your faithfulness. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for you love us so much, God, that you protected us, Lord. And for that, God, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy of our praises and of our everything, God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in His name. Thanks be to God who always causes us to win. Yeah. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in His name.
us, Lord God, to be seeking you. And Lord God, all of us, all of us, Lord God, are affected by this world. But we know, Lord, that through you, Lord, nothing is impossible. And with you, Lord, there is hope. There is hope for us to rise up. There is hope for Sambuanga to rise up. And all we have to do is just to be faithful to you, Lord, and just to trust in you, Lord. For your ways are nothing that we can understand, but are very, very effective, Lord. So it's just right for us today to worship you and everything that we got. Come, let's worship the Lord. You're the God of this city. You're the king of this people. You're the Lord of this nation. You are. You're the light in the darkness. You're the hope to the hopeless. You're the peace to the restless. You are. There's no one like you.
Lord, thank you so much, God, for your faithfulness. Can we just stretch our hands before the Lord this morning? Lord, thank you so much that when we sang that song, we lift our hands to believe again. It's so real to us. Because we are in the middle of a situation that, Lord, we need your hand to be upon our situation, our dependence on you alone. Lord, I pray that you would even still faith in us to believe great and mighty things to take place in our midst for our city and for our country. Lord, thank you so much, God, that amidst all these things that we can always focus on you, fix our eyes on you, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Thank you so much, Lord, that amidst all these things that we can always say that you are constant. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amidst all these things, God, that we can always say and be in faith that you are still God and nothing can change your very nature. You are sitting on your throne in control of everything. Lord, thank you so much, God, even for this morning, for allowing us to be together. Lord God, in worshiping you. Lord, we thank you. We, we even bless you today. And for the rest of our lives, Lord God, we give our highest praise to our King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords, the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Can we just give back and give God our best? Clap of praise. Come on. He deserves all the worship, all the glory, and all the adoration. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Good morning. Buenos dias. Mayong aanga. Mayong buntag sa inyong tanahan. Uh, sa English. Ano man sa English? Yeah, sa English. Sa Chinese. Uh, anyway, I want you to please move around for, for the next minute or one minute. Meet as many as possible. Come on, say hi, hello, kumusta ka? I begin to appreciate everyone for coming over this morning. Come on. Nakakatuwa namang tingnan, no? For the past few weeks, uh, we were at uh, Regency. Uh, we had our services there because of uh, what, uh, what's taking place now in Zamboanga. But now we're back in our regular schedule and nice to see everyone smiling. For the past few Sundays, yung iba, pagpumunta ng church na ganon. But let me tell you today, there's hope. Okay? Uh, there's a better future for God, no? And uh, that's our prayer, that uh, we will be a source of hope and inspiration to people out there. And I believe you know, people in church are that. Uh, instead of being negative, let's be not just positive, but be in faith. That's the key word there, in faith, in what God is doing and what God is really challenging us. Now, um, a few announcements for everyone. So, yung youth service natin will be announced. I-update lang natin yung mga youth kung saan yung venue natin. At saka kung uh, the same time pa rin, so we'll be updating you during the week. Okay, medyo erratic yung schedule kasi uh, because of what's happening. But update, update lang po tayo. Tapos yung center po natin sa Unichan, um, almost 80% done. So malapit na within this month, tapos na yun. Then uh, praise God for that. So yun yung una atang ma-restore. No? <laughs> anyway, uh, just want to thank everyone for those who were giving sacrificially for uh, our effort no, to really helping those who are affected sa calamity, those who are praying at home those who are really giving their time also for those who are in need. Uh, yung mga kids church teachers natin who went to Grandstand and uh, meron silang playtime with the kids and with a thousand kids on uh, one of that occasion. Um, Nag-volunteer yung mga uh, ventriloquist natin doon. Sino Fred, thank you so much for really doing a, a great job for God. And for the past few days, we had several uh, relief uh, operations sa mga uh, Babies, uh, one of, yung team ng mga men dito went to isang uh, evacuation center and they did uh, relief ops for babies and mother, you know, feeding ma, yung, yung nursing mom. So, nagbigay ng mga gatas and all. So, thank you so much for your support. And uh, some of our prayer group also went to several uh, uh, critical posts, like for example, uh, yung city uh, office natin, yung city hall natin, yung mga camps natin, and uh, yung mga crucial no, posts ng society natin. And we had an opportunity also to do prayer and worship sa uh, kawa-kawa sa company na General Vineo. So thank you so much for giving us the privilege to do that. And um, 
just to get us excited before we bring back God's size and offering. God has so much uh, uh, opportunity, for, opportunity for us as a church. Alam nyo, ang daming opportunity to be a blessing to many. Uh, for just last, uh, last night, we had a meeting with some people, uh, the ASEC of uh, uh, Office of the Political Affair. Uh, tapos, uh, he's from Victory also. So he, he's, he was here and I think he flew back na in Manila. Uh, andito ba siya? Ay, sir, <laughs> you're there pala. So we had that meeting and uh, encouraging everyone, every church to be one in this. And yung Operation Compassion also was there yesterday. And we're just uh, listening and, and planning. Ano bang magagawa ng Christian group dito sa Buanga? And uh, ang galing, no? What God is, has been doing. Um, yung mga ministries natin, it's never about victory lang, no? But I believe God will use every church in Zamboanga, especially in Christian community dito. And one thing also that we can be a blessing is that uh, we can uh, really uh, yung parang be a blessing to the military and to the police also. Now, yung, yung post-crisis healing na gagawin natin, we can have prayer uh, meetings there, or we can have ministry time there for them, we can actually... Uh, calibrate things for them just earlier this morning nag-usap na kami ni General Banyo and talking about sir paano mo natin gagawin to no? I mean uh, he would be willing to help us also in really reaching out to this group of people and the military as well so um, not only that uh, and daming updates and opportunity for us as a church and uh, maluluwa tayo how God can even use us as a movement and as a church so sa mga gi- sa giving natin you can write there no? if you want to help also to rebuild some buong guy as you give your Tyson offering, you can put their Tyson offering and you can put their uh, for rebuilding some buanga also. So, mapupunta yan sa mga operation po natin, sa mga involvement natin in the community. And one uh, potential uh, project na gagawin natin as a, as a Christian movement, uh, kasi nag-form ng organization, uh, yung parang uh, response uh, group network that we will adapt uh, yung isang uh, evacuation center, which is Santa Maria Evacuation Center, which is very... Uh, kaya lang natin gawin, no? And mapofocus yung effort natin doon and mas malaking impact noon. So, if you're uh, giving for that also, for the rebuild, rebuild some buanga, please indicate in your tithes and offering. How many believe that God is faithful? God is faithful to provide everything. The Bible says that He is able to do immeasurably more. More than what we can give or imagine. So, exciting po to. Ang dami pang updates na gagawin. Rebuilding some buanga, it takes not just one church, but everyone, every person in some buanga. And part of that rebuilding is rebuilding the houses of those people. And yung Habitat for Humanity, we can also take part of that. So that's like an actual rebuilding na yun. And nakaka-excite what God uh, has been opening for us as a ministry and as a whole movement here in Sambuanga City, especially in Body of Christ. So can we just pray for God's tithes and offering as we bring back uh, His tithes and our offerings today? Just pray that uh, God will work on us and even restore us also personally. Lord, we thank you, God, even for this morning, that even as we return um, your tithes and, and our offering to you, and even as we sacrificially give, Lord, to, to our fellow Sambongenos, Lord, I pray that you would return it hundredfold. Lord, thank you so much because you are the source of everything. We cannot meet every need of people. We cannot meet every need out there, but Lord, I believe you are the source of everything. Then you will meet every need that they have. Lord, thank you so much even for giving us the privilege to bring back what is due to you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. When the mountains fall Tempest roars, you are with me. When creation falls, still my soul will soar on your mercy. And I'll walk through the fire with my head lifted high and my come to life in the beauty of your name rising up from the ashes where forever you reign so we'll find refuge in the shadow of
Thank you very much. Can we give them a round of applause, please? Good morning. Welcome to our 10.30 a.m. service. Welcome back to our regular service. Okay, kasi for the past three Sundays, dun po tayo nag-service sa, sa Astoria Regency. But uh, we're back here for our 8 turn, uh, 8.30, 10.30 service. I hope walang pumunta ng Regency ngayong 10.30. But uh, if they come back here, medyo a little bit late. So, uh, sana maabot ng panila. No? But uh, anyways, uh, for the past three weeks, we had our break. Okay, we've been uh, just having a prayer and worship time in light of the situation in Zamboanga City. Uh, we were in the middle of our series called Proof, talking about the grace of God, pero hanggang two parts lang. So, uh, we're not going to go back to that series. If you want to uh, finish the rest of the series, you can go to our website, victory.org.ph. Okay, marami pong mga magagaling na preachers from Victory Churches all over the Philippines na pwede niyong pakinggan, uh, two-part series. Actually, nasa series po sila ng viral ngayon, okay? It's a two-part series about mission. Yung mission natin to uh, um, reach every nation and every campus. So they're finishing up today. But uh, for us here in Sambuanga, in light of our current situation, um, we were talking about this and uh, really praying and seeking ano bang message ni God for us as a church and for our city. And uh, we felt that this is uh, the message for us. So we're going to talk about aftermath. Okay, yun yung uh, uh, message natin. For the next three weeks, we're going to look at this. We're going to talk about renew, rebuild, and reveal. Okay, ito po yung pag-usapan natin for the next three weeks. So I know you're ready with your Bibles. Turn your Bibles to the book of Lamentations. It's a book in the Old Testament written by Jeremiah. It's right after Jeremiah. So... Pwede po tayong tumayo in respect to the reading of God's Word. Lamentations chapter 5, and uh, we are going to read verse 19 to verse 22. Okay? If you have NIV Bibles, please read out loud with me. It says here, You, O Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures from generation to generation. Why do you always forget us? Why do you forsake us so long? Restore us to yourself, O Lord, that we may return. Renew our days as of old, unless you have utterly rejected us and are angry with us beyond measure. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word that always brings hope and encouragement to us. I pray, Lord, that you would speak to each and every one of us today, Lord, but even to our city as well. And as it's raining out there and flooding, Lord, I pray that you would cause your healing rain and your presence to flood our city, Lord. That indeed, restoration and renewal will take place. So that your will, your ways, your plans, and your purposes will prevail. That this city, Lord, will be a city that will truly give you glory and honor. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And you all take your seats. You know, today we're starting our series called uh, Aftermath. And uh, um, yun title natin. And some of you are wondering, ano ba yung Aftermath? Uh, a, a few weeks ago, uh, we were talking about this. May tinanong ako, ano ba yung Aftermath para sa'yo? So sabi niya, uh, pagpasok ko, first subject, English, after English, math. Aftermath, recess. Okay, so eh, iba pong... <laughs> Iba pong aftermath yon, okay? Uh, but when we uh, look at the word aftermath, it, it's, it's simply a word that means a consequence or a result. Okay? It's a period that is immediately following a ruinous event. Okay? Like example, an aftermath of the uh, Sambuanga siege that we've experienced. Okay? So, medyo, medyo discouraging nga, no? Pag binasa mo yung, yung, yung word na binasa natin kanina, parang medyo, wow, medyo heavy, no? Kasi parang aftermath, after a ruinous event, kakatapos lang ng, ng sunog dito, ulan naman. Okay? Pagkatapos lang ng gera, baha naman. So, um, but uh, I think it's very important for us to really look at uh, this message, look at from the scripture, because we need to know how do we respond to a situation like this. We need to have the right attitude, the right heart, the right perspective, so that we will know how to respond. Okay, uh, I'm sure na realize natin after everything that we, we really need to do something, and we have to do something. We can't just take things the way they are, and we can't just uh, really let things take 
its natural course. So, dapat meron tayong appropriate response. And and this is a prayer of uh, of uh, uh, Jeremiah. Uh, in fact, uh, Jeremiah has been known as a weeping prophet. Okay, and itong isang sinulat niya, lamentation, it's really like a mourning, weeping type of a message. Kasi nakita niya yung pag, pagkakasira ng Jerusalem. Nakita niya yung pagkakasira ng temple. And uh, it was very heartbreaking for him and ito yung naging prayer niya. Okay, uh, in fact, parang ang pagbinasa nga natin, parang Lord, nakalimutan mo na ba kami? Have you forsaken us? That was the prayer. And I'm sure that sort of became our prayer too. And part of nung prayer and message ni Jeremiah is this, Restore to us, uh, restore us to yourself, O Lord, that we may return. Renew our days as of old. So, parang prayer niya is, God, i-restore mo naman kami kung pwede ba ibalik mo kami sa dati. No? But not only restore, but also to renew. Renew our days as of old. Siguro he was recalling the glory days of Israel as a nation. The glory days of Israel as a people. And parang yun yung, uh, I think it's a resounding message for all of us. Okay? Um, maybe the crisis is over for us, tapos na yung bakbakan, may mga clearing operations pang nangyayari, everything is not back to normal. And that's our prayer. God, restore us. God, renew our days. Okay? Now, anong days ang gusto nating ma-renew? Now, anong, anong gusto nating ma-restore? Um, you probably heard me share this before. Okay, Sambuanga City, several things that we know about Sambuanga City, Ciudad de Sambuanga, okay? Ito yung mga siguro parang medyo nawala na, na kailangan ma-restore or ma-renew. You know, uh, Sambuanga City used to be the third chartered city. So in other words, among the cities in the Philippines, tayo sana yung mga nauna sana nag-advance. Okay, but I'm sure after everything that happened, parang oops, mas lalo yata tayo na pag-iwanan. Okay, so prayer natin, God, restore, renew. Okay? Not only that, it's also the sixth most populated and the third largest city in terms of land area. So, kung tinan mo, grabe yung potential in terms of people, in terms of natural resources, ibang klase. Now, yung Sambuanga is taken from a name, Jambangan, and that means land of flowers. Okay? Alam ko, Sambuanga used to be known as a city of flowers. Uh, ngayon, uh, kailangan natin maghanap ng mga flowers. Okay? Parang naiba na. Okay? Naging... Uh, City of fruits and flowers, meron pang time na, uh, ngayon Latin city of Asia na, no? Or ano, city of, uh, Asia's Latin city, sorry, okay? Asia's Latin city, or, uh, you know, basta, iba, iba rin yung significance ng flowers. It's supposed to be something fragrant, something uh, aromatic, okay? Something beautiful. Okay, it's also from a word, samboangan, which is actually a word that means, uh, it's a wooden pole used in, uh, to push vintas. Okay? Yung mga iba lang, hindi masyadong mapronounce yung Sambuangan, kaya naging Jambuanga. Okay? Jambuangan. Okay? Parang ganun yung naging name. And Sambuanga is known as the El, El Orgullo de Mindanao or the Pride of Mindanao. And uh, Sambuanga used to be known as Sambuanga Hermosa or Beautiful Mindanao. You know, Sambuanga, I believe, is one of the cities where we had uh, the first airports uh, in the Philippines. Tapos, uh, may mga international flights pa, kaya nga international airport ang tawag dyan. Ngayon, parang wala na yatang international, yung mga domestic na nakakancel pa. Okay, so parang kung titignan natin where Sambuanga used to be, parang it's very different from what people think about it now. Okay, I even met somebody na, uh, even met a couple na yung daughter niya, kasing edad yata ng wife ko, na they had their honeymoon in Sambuanga. Okay, and, and I could recall stories of how beautiful Sambuanga was. Now, let, let me ask you, sino dito pinanganak sa Sambuanga? Raise your hand. You're born in Sambuanga. Born Sambuangueño. Okay, great. Now, I, I'm not born in Sambuanga, but I've been here for 15 years. And uh, when my wife married me, uh, she also married Sambuanga. So, sumama siya sa akin mga nine years. And uh, although we're not born here, we love this city. And in fact, um, my wife is giving birth here. Two months from now, to a baby girl. Okay, ganun ka mahal yung, uh, uh, ganun niya kamahal ang Sambuanga City. And uh, we're here. And if you look at the natural, parang, oops, parang malaki yung nawala. Parang ang daming kailangang i-restore. Okay, parang ang daming kailangang i-renew. And, and how, how, how can we find faith? How can we find the hope in the midst of all of that? Well, I just want to encourage you that in the Bible, you will find that God will restore and renew what has been destroyed. Can you say that with me? God 
will restore and renew what has been destroyed. In the Bible, when it started, God created everything good. God created everything very good. The heavens and the earth, male, female, He created them, even with the free will. It's all good. It's all very good. But when sin was conceived in our hearts, when a fallen angel entertained and conceived the sin of pride, and evil entered our world, and, and when man entertained pride in his heart, and sin, uh, you know, this desire gave birth to sin, and started committing evil things. Now, evil destroyed everything. I'm sure, alam na alam natin yan, that there is truly a, an enemy. The devil, the evil one who came to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's what evil did. And uh, sometimes we see this evil at work in people. Okay, but if you look at the scripture, you will always find that since that time on, God has always been in a restoration and in a renewing business. In fact, the Bible is so complete, it shows us that in the end, we will have a new heaven and a new earth. God will accomplish this purpose. And everything in between, God is in the business of restoring and renewing what was destroyed. He even asked us to pray, let your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So tayo, part tayo ng restoration and renewing work that God is doing in our city. So, whatever it is that the enemy has destroyed in your life, whatever it is that the enemy has destroyed in our city, Yung iba sa atin, nasunugan ng bahay. Uh, we have church people who, who experience that. Uh, yung iba sa atin, na, na, nawala ng peace. Yung iba sa atin, nawala yung hopes natin. Yung iba sa atin, nawala yung, uh, na, nasira yung routine natin. Some of us, if you look at the aftermath, grabe no? Not just the aftermath in terms of how many people died, how many people injured, how many people in the hospital, you know, how many hostages were rescued, praise God, and we thank uh, our, our armed forces for, for that, and, and how many people were displaced, how many people lost their homes, uh, and dami-daming figures, but if you look at all of that, I just want to encourage us today, and I believe God wants to encourage us today, that God will restore and renew what was destroyed. And I praise and thank God that si God hindi lang siya nagre-restore kung anong nasira. Hindi lang yung ibabalik niya sa dati. But God will also renew. In other words, kung merong obsolete, wag na tulad nun dati, something better, something greater. And just what we sang a while ago, that there are greater things that are yet to come and greater things that are still to be done. And that is God's heart. And we should have faith and hope in the God who restores and renews. Now, in the Bible, maraming verses where you can find the word renew. And I think it's good for us to really look at them para malaman natin, ano ba talagang dapat ma-restore? Ano ba talaga yung dapat ma-renew? Now, uh, we'll break it down to the Old Testament and the New Testament. So, if you look at the first part, renew, word na renew in the Old Testament, the first time you will see this in a King James Version is in 1 Samuel 11, 14. And then said Samuel to the people, Come, let us go to Gilgal and renew the kingdom there. At first reading, parang maganda, wow, ma-renew yung kingdom. Okay, uh, I don't know if we ever have a kingdom of Sambuanga City or kingdom of Peninsula, but, but I think more than asking, I praise and thank God that we have government officials who stood for the city and did not just hand this over to anyone who wanted to take it. And uh, we have to keep praying for our leaders. We have to keep praying for our government officials and for our, our, our nation. Okay? But I want us to understand that in this passage, this is not a very good passage, renewing the kingdom. Kasi yung context nito is that Samuel was the king, considered, uh, Samuel was a prophet and also considered the last judge. And uh, during this time, the people of Israel wanted to be like other nations. Sabi niya, dapat maging katulad kami ng ibang nations that they have their own kings. And Samuel was grieved. Sabi niya, hindi, we're supposed to be a people under God. Pero now you're asking for somebody who will become king and binitigyan pa niya ng warning. Pag nagkaroon yun ng king, kukunin niya yung mga uh, anak niyo as servants. Okay, may portion na kukunin yan kasi magiging part ng kingdom. Magpapatayo kaya ng palace yan. Magagawin pa kaya ibang projects yung mga king na yan. So, may mga ganong klaseng warning. And, and, but the people wanted to be like other nations. They wanted to be a kingdom just like everybody else. 
So when we say renew the kingdom, we're not asking for, you know, I think kaya nagkagulo kasi may somebody wants to claim some banga as part of their kingdom. But more than if thanking God that we have been preserved, one Sambuanga, one Philippines, one flag. Praise God for that. But I think we have to start thinking, kanino ba talaga yung Sambuanga? And Sambuanga belongs to God. The people belongs to God. That's why we're crying out, God, you're the God of this city. You're the King of these people. God, you rule and reign in this city. Not anybody's rule, not anybody's kingship. First, we praise and thank God for these leaders. But until we have leaders who would realize that this, this, this is not my kingdom, this is God's kingdom that should rule and reign. God's kingship must be displayed in this city. It's just a matter of time. We will see the same problem coming back all over again. So prayer natin that God will restore the city in the natural. God will restore uh, you know, and renew the city. Magi improve din yan, yung ground zero. I'm excited for what that is going to look like several years from now. But more importantly, I hope we will start looking with the eyes of faith and saying, God, what do you want to happen in our city? May you take charge. May you rule and reign. And may you use our leaders, our government officials to see your plans and your purposes so that union mag prevail. Renew the kingdom. Another passage in the Old Testament is this Psalm 51 verse 10. And uh, this is David praying. Sabi niya, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Now, uh, I know one of the things that we are seeing in Sambuanga City is nagkakaroon ng renewal of spirit in Sambuanga. Uh, I don't know if you... Uh, we're, hindi naman tayo happy na nagkagera, no? pero meron ako na-observe that I really got me excited. For some reason, yung mga tao sa Sambuanga, hindi na yung naging parang apathetic na parang, oh, bahala kayo as long as you don't have a problem, don't mess with you, you don't mess with me, okay na. For some reason, in this crisis, nakita natin yung Sambuanga nyo, biglang nag up and say, ano ba pwede kong gawin? Hindi pwede na ako held hostage, nasa bahay lang ako for three weeks. What can I do to help? People started thinking outside of themselves. And not only that, people started feeling more patriotic. Naramdaman niyo ba yun? Hindi naman Independence Day or Flag Day. Bakit naglabasan yung mga flag? And people started loving, loving their city. And people started loving their nation. And, and uh, loving the military and the police. And I'm sure yung iba nag-iisip, Naku, importante pala yung CAT at ROTC. Samantalang noon, nagsasakit-sakitan lang ako para light duty. Pero ngayon, iba parang ready na to defend their country and to defend their city. Something good came out of it. Okay? But more than just praying for that spirit, nationalism, or, or patriotism, we need to pray that God will give us a right spirit. Kasi itong message na to, this is David after being confronted by the prophet Nathan for his sin of adultery with Bathsheba and for the sin of murder. Kasi pinapatay niya yung husband ni Bathsheba. And it is just a prayer of repentance and say, God, Forgive me, Lord, for all of my sins. Kaya nagkagulo-gulo yung buhay ko, nagkagulo yung kingdom because of our sins. So give me a pure heart and give me a right spirit. And we need to pray that God will give us a right spirit. Hindi lang patriotism, nationalism. Because if we're not careful, pwedeng ibang spirit ang mag sa heart natin. Bitterness, anger, unforgiveness, prejudice, racism, or whatever cultural, religious bias we may have. And I think God is awakening each and every one of us na hindi lang pala to battle on the outside, but there's a battle that is within that's going on. And we need to cry out to God to forgive us first. Kaya nagkagroon ng galto because of the sin in the hearts of people. Kaya nangyari to because we allowed an evil spirit to influence our hearts. And if we're not careful, we might be the very evil that we seek to destroy. And we seek to eliminate. So we need to ask God, God, give us a pure heart. Give us a right spirit. Of course, in Isaiah 40 verse 31 says this, another verse, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. And right after that, the following verse, another verse, Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. God wants to renew our strength. And meron tayong hope that we could have renewed strength. I don't know if you felt this, pero parang uh, during the three weeks, parang na, ano tayo, nakaramdam tayo ng panghihina, no? a sense of weakness. 
Hindi ko alam. Siguro we felt weak kasi hindi tayo masyadong nakakatulog sa gabi. Yung manok-manok lang yung tulog. Tapos hindi rin tayo masyadong nakakakain kasi puro dirata lang nakakain natin sa bahay. Hindi tayo masyadong nakakalabas-labas. You know, but, but more than the physical weakness, we all have a, a spiritual and emotional weakness. Especially those people who were really affected. Buti nga tayo, somehow medyo spared pa. But those people who lost their homes and, and lost their, their stores, nakakapanghina kaya, no? Ilang taon mong tinrabaho yun, tapos biglang mawawala. How do you begin again? Where do you start? Tayo, nahingina na tayo. Nasa bahay lang tayo. Can you imagine yung tagod ng mga nasa frontliners, the military and the police, na who could not just sleep, but they have to stay awake? Because it could mean their life and death. What about those in the front lines sa volunteering, doctors and nurses, yung mga, yung mga helping in the evacuation? Iba rin yung pagod nila and they too need to be strengthened. We all need to be strengthened. And we can praise and thank God that He gave a, pro- he gave a promise. Even the youth will become tired and weary. But when we wait upon the Lord, when we turn to Him, He will renew our strength. He will strengthen us. And yun yung prayer natin, that God will strengthen us. Na kahit gaano pa ka challenging, challenging you, what's up ahead of us to rebuild the city, we can have the strength that God will help us. God will enable us to rebuild Samuanga City. That God will restore the joy that's been lost, the peace that was destroyed. And God will strengthen us and He will enable us. Of course, the other one in Lamentation 5 verse 21, the prayer of Jeremiah, Restore us to yourself, O Lord, that we may return. Renew our days as of old. Maybe Jeremiah was looking forward to the day when God performed miracles, talagang parted the Red Sea, uh, caused them to have bread from heaven and water from the rock and, and really bring them to the promised land and how they were able to conquer 32 kingdoms beginning with Jericho, a walled city and all these kingdoms who were after Israel. Maybe he was crying out to God, God, renew them in our day. Balik niyo yung, yung mga miraculous, powerful work that you have done. And he was ending by saying, parang Lord, unless you have utterly rejected us or are angry with us beyond measure, but praise and thank God in the New Testament, you will find that God did not reject us, that God did not forsake us, that God had something in mind that He wanted to restore and renew. And now we would appreciate it more when we look at what happened in the New Testament. Uh, one of the times, Romans chapter 12, verse 2, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. That God's will has always been good. It's always pleasing. It's always perfect. But the transformation that God is looking for is not just a restoration of the external, not just a renewal of the face of the earth, but a renewing of the mind. It begins with the internal. May tinuturo si God sa atin until we change the way we think. Things will, ne- you know, still will will go back to the way it was. And kailangan natin ng renewal of the mind. Kailangan magbago yung pag-iisip natin. Actually, kaya nga nangyari yung nangyari kasi may mga maling pag-iisip na napabayaan. And, and my hope as we look at this series that we will not just wait till it's over and then go back to normal. Things should not go back to normal. Things should get better. And God's will is always good, pleasing, and perfect. And we just start thinking, Lord, ano ba yung will mo? God, ano ba yung ways mo? Help me to think your thoughts. Of course, maraming thoughts na pumapasok sa isip natin. You know, uh, nakakapraning din, no? If you're just, uh, you know, if you experience what we've experienced here and just the text going on and whatever sci war that's out there, you know, iba rin. Pero teka muna, whose voice are we really listening to? Are we believing the word of God or the word of the enemy? Are we believing the truth or the lies? Are we are really thinking God's thoughts and not just our thoughts? Because God's thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts. And His ways are so much higher than our ways. Kailangan may renewing of the mind. It should change the way we see ourselves. It should change the way we see the world. It should change the way we see our city. It should change the way we see the people around us. And see what God sees in you. And see what God sees in people. And see how God sees this city. Importante po yung renewing of the mind. You know, uh, I praise and thank God that may mga tumutulong to help magbigay ng pabahay 
para sa mga nasunugan ng bahay and, and uh, may, may mga different organizations who are helping so yung mga nasunugan ng bahay mapapalitan din yan praise God but you know what mapalit naman yung bahay natin kung yung pag-iisip natin hindi nagbago it's just a matter of time it will still go back to the way it was I'm sure makikita nyo yan all over the Philippines may mga ni-relocate okay, from, uh, from a, uh, a squatter area binigyan ng magagandang bahay magagandang building but because their thinking did not change it's just a matter of time mukhang squatter na rin yung building because the change should not just be external the change should begin internal I'm sure you've heard of stories of people who were in poverty and they, they won lotto they won millions of pesos and it's just a matter of time yung iba very short time that they're poor again after all the blessings that they received. Where was the problem? Is the problem the money that they had? No, the problem was right here and right here. Kaya nga bago natin pag-usapan yung rebuilding, maganda isipin muna natin yung renewing. Ano bang nire-renew ni Lord? And God wants to renew our mind. Huwag na natin i-pattern yung sarili natin of how the world does. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world. Iba yung ways ng world. The enemy is scheming. The enemy is deceiving. He came to seek. Uh, he came to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came to give us life. And we have to start thinking God's thoughts. And we have to start thinking with the eyes of Christ. In our minds and in our hearts. Another verse, 2 Corinthians 4, 16 to 18. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away. Yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Okay, so here Paul was encouraging the church na yung renewal, it has to be on the inside. And it didn't go inside na one time, it has to be day by day. We keep on getting better and better on the inside. Now, we don't just see things from the temporary. We don't just see things from what is seen. We start seeing things in the unseen. And we start living for what is more eternal. I'm sure you can all agree with me that what happened here is not just a battle of guns and bullets. What happened here is a battle of ideas. It's a battle of beliefs. It's a battle of uh, faith. Ano ba yung pinaniniwalaan natin? Of course, what we realize here, na hindi lang pala to para sa akin, okay na. What about our next generation and the future generations? We have to start thinking long term. We have to start believing not just for us, but for the future that is to come. Merong renewal that God wants to do, and it's a day-to-day thing. So I hope itong restoration and renewal, hindi lang yung parang, oh, pang natapos na, let's say, rebuild two years, okay, after what? Go back to normal? No. There are things that need to change. Colossians 3.10 And have put on the new self which is being renewed in the knowledge in the image of its creator. Merong new self that the Bible is speaking of. Not just to go back to the old self. Titus chapter 3 verse 4 to 8 says this, But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy, He saved us through the washing of regeneration. Everybody say regeneration. And renewing of the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that having been justified by His grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is faithful saying and these things I want you to affirm constantly that those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable to men. If we're going to look at those verses in the New Testament, what God is really saying is that God is restoring and renewing you. Look at your seatmates. God is restoring you. And God is renewing you. Tayo po pala yung gusto ni Lord na ma-restore at ma-renew. That we will be restored to the Lord, that we would return to Him. And the renewing is not just the days or the glory days of the past, but God will renew us. And yun yung prayer ni David, God, a new heart and a new spirit. And yun yung kagandahan na we have a new testament. Merong new way 
that we can come to God. Now, what was obsolete has been replaced. In the Old Testament, the people were crying out, Lord, renew the kingdom, renew our kingdom. But in the New Testament, it was God re God's kingdom renewing us. Because the kingdom is not built by walls and stones and cement or bricks. But the kingdom of God is in us, made of people. Na si God muna yung nagru-rule tsaka nag sa heart natin. You know, in the Old Testament, people are crying out for a new spirit and a new strength. But in the New Testament, we can find God giving us a new heart and a new spirit. It's not because of what we've done. It's because of what He has done. In the Old Testament, it's more of people really crying out, God, this is what we want, you know, uh, establish us as a nation, this is our kingdom, and, and return us to your glory days. But in the New Testament, it's not for your glory, it's God's glory. It's not your kingdom. Are, are you in His kingdom? God is restoring us and renewing us. Ma-restore man ang city, ma-renew man yung city and all, but if the people remain the same, it's just a matter of time. Now we will go back and experience the same things over and over again. But what Jesus came to accomplish is to create a new you. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone. And the new has come. Jesus came not to establish an earthly kingdom. And that's why the Jewish people were disappointed with Him. Kala ko ba, babalik na yung glory days ng Israel. And people in Israel thought it was just all about them. But God chose Israel for a purpose, to be a blessing to the nations. So that people who don't know God will know Him. And now Jesus said, you know, the day will come. Jesus is going to come in all His glory. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. And He's going to wipe out every evil on the face of the earth. But before He does that, He wants to rescue the hostages. The men and women who had evil in their hearts. And that's what Jesus came to do on the cross. If we are in Christ, we become a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. And now, you've, now that we've been renewed, now that God has restored us to Him, then we become agents and instruments of God to bring restoration and renewal to everyone who needs it. How many believe that God is restoring and renewing our city? When you are expecting God to restore and renew our city. Na makikita din natin, hindi lang, uh, you know, as we humble ourselves, you know, I believe Sambuanga, huwag lang bumalik sa pride of Mindanao or beautiful Sambuanga. You know, just like what Ezekiel prophesied, I believe this is going to be a city where people will know that we serve a God who is real. We serve a God who is alive. And we serve a God who really has great plans for us for our families, and for our city. Amen? Can we just bow our heads as we pray? Lord, I pray for each and every one of us, God. Lord, if there's anything that sin and evil has destroyed in us, our identity, our anything God that's been distorted, our view of, of ourselves, our view of our neighbor, our view of our city, our view of you, anything God that is not of you, Lord, I pray that you would set us free from the lies and the deception of the evil one. And Lord, I pray that you would Reveal yourself to us even in a greater measure. That we will know you for who you really are. 
God who created us in your image and likeness. A God whose desire has always been for our good. And it's always been pleasing and perfect. Lord, that we would see you for who you really are. A God who, who really cares for us. A God who will never leave us nor forsake us. And a God who has was given even His one and only Son just to save us, just to redeem us so that we could be restored, so that we can be renewed in You. Lord, I pray that You would forgive us, Lord, for any sin, Lord, that we've entertained, for any evil in our hearts that we've entertained, for somehow being participants, Lord, of, of what led this city to where it is right now. And God, I pray, Lord, that you would renew our minds, Lord. Help us to know your word. Help us to know you. Help us to know your will and your ways. But more than that, Lord, I pray that you would give us a new heart and a new spirit. The new self, Lord, created in the knowledge of our Creator. Lord, that we will be the people whom you, me you meant us to be, Lord. So that in our families, Lord, in our in our careers, in our schools, in our offices, in our neighborhood, Lord. There will be more of you that will be displayed. And real transformation will take place, beginning with us and through us. Forgive us, Lord, for the many times that we want you to conform to our will instead of completely surrendering to your will because you see everything and nothing is impossible for you. Can we just all stand? Can we just sing this song as our prayer? Lord, I pray for your healing grace. Lord, you are a healer and I pray that you would heal our hearts. Lord, from any pain, from any hurt, from any discouragement, hopelessness and despair, Lord, I pray, God, that you would infuse faith. Lord, whatever the enemy has destroyed, whatever the enemy has distorted, Lord, we believe you, Lord, you will make all things new. Lord, this is our prayer. This is our desire, not just for us in this room and in this church, but even for this city, Lord, and even for Mindanao and for our nation. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done. There is a His love is deeper than the sea. His mercy, it is unfailing. His arms are fortress for the weak. Let faith arise. Let faith arise.
Praise God one more time. Come on. We thank you for the police. We thank you for the medical professional professionals. We thank you for all the volunteers. Lord, we pray for everyone who's, who are involved out there. We pray for heads of protection be upon them. Thank you, God, that you will never leave them nor forsake them. Lord, we pray for our public officials, our mayor, Lord God. Lord, the, the counselors down to the barangay level. Lord, we pray for your wisdom be upon them. Lord, thank you so much, God, because they, they are under your care. Lord, thank you so much, even for today. I pray that even as we go out from this place, that you would even cause us to shine, be a source of encouragement out there. Lord, I pray that you would bless your people, bless this church, bless every church of this city, Lord God. Lord, thank you so much, God. Bless every minister. Lord, bless every, Lord, uh, campus, Lord, every business. Lord, we declare your blessing be upon all of them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, thank you so much. God bless everyone. Okay, see you next week. Have a blessed Sunday. If you need prayers, you can just approach in front. We have leaders here who can pray for you. God bless.